idea for uh, finding the mother load came from the fact that the experience that the Italians had in the West Coast was very different from the image that most people have of the Italian immigrants. Most people, when they think of Italian immigrants in America, think of uh, uh, the Little Italy's of uh, New York, Chicago, Philadelphia. And uh, we made a film on that experience, Pane Amaro, uh, Bitter Bread. And uh, when we showed that film in the, in the West Coast, a lot of people said, our story is different. You should make a film also on us. And so we started doing some research and we realized that their story indeed is different. The Italians who went to California were able to use their skills and uh, uh, more than it happened in the East Coast. There were a lot of opportunities in California and the Italians were able to take advantage of those opportunities. Those who came with the experience of being farmers were able to continue farming there. The same thing happened to those who were able to make wine or the fishermen. They found opportunities in California to actually use the skills, the cultural capital that they had. That allowed them to integrate in the American economy and California economy uh, rather fast. What do you think of when you think of California? You think of vineyards? And it wasn't until Italians came here, put in the vineyards, put in the fig trees, the olive trees, the cypress trees, that you have the kind of landscape that today you identify as California landscape. What was also interesting was that California was a multicultural and multi-ethnic society from the very beginning. There were large numbers of immigrants from Asia, from China, who came also for the gold rush. But Italians were seen as um, more akin to the other Europeans and therefore more acceptable. They became part of the white fold. They had access to land, they could buy land, they could become citizens. And this was certainly true for the first wave of immigrants that went um, in the early days, the 1850s, 1840s, 1860s. There is a second wave of Italians that came towards the end of the 19th century and the early 20th century. They did not always experience the same level of welcome. It's important to remember that things were not always wonderful for the Italians. December 7th, 1941, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. The war was really a watershed event, and that wrought a fairly large change in the Italian communities throughout the country, I think. What that did was put a kind of stigma on Italian culture, really. People were afraid to be too Italian. They were afraid to speak Italian in the grocery stores. In fact, some of them had signs in them saying no Italian spoken for the duration of the war. What was interesting about the Italian immigrant experience in some way is that it's a journey that has been more or less completed. So you can kind of trace a whole journey, which is often not possible, for instance, of newer immigrants. So you don't kind of have a sense of where, how this is go, journey is going to end. And what was interesting also, um, and we've had people from many different backgrounds tell us this, that the Italian story is not that different from the story of others, of other immigrants. In fact, I think this was the spark that really originated this whole research and the two documentaries. The fact that when we, we visit Italy very frequently, and when we were there in the 80s and 90s, we started seeing how difficult it was for Italians to accept foreigners in their midst. It seemed almost like that uh, they had gone through some very strange amnesia, having forgotten the fact that many millions of Italians emigrated and the reasons why they emigrated and uh, how difficult it was for them 
we thought it was important to try and uh, inform the, 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 the audience, the public, of this very important uh, part of history that uh, will help them also understand and cope with the immigration that now Italy is experiencing and uh, in a more humane, in a more uh, organic fashion.